What's up, world? You know who it is. K. Rollins Automotive Rhythms. And welcome to the Lone Star State where the sheriffs and cowboys rule. We out here with the introduction of the 2009 Aston Martin DBS. The perfect opportunity to relieve some morning stress. You saw James Bond in Casino Royale. Now check out Agent 009 as I lay down $265,000 worth of performance. Welcome to the AM. A masterpiece has been created, but not by the descendants of Picasso or the artisans of Italian coach builder Penaferina. It's more closely associated with British novelist and Bond creator Ian Fleming and his agent 007. The 2009 Aston Martin DBS. Sophisticated, magnificent, and authoritative are just a few adjectives descriptive enough to capture the true essence of this performance coupe, which is now Aston Martin's halo vehicle. The 2009 DBS has been declassified until recently when a few top agents were dispatched to Dallas, Texas to experience the luxury sports car's wrath. The Lone Star State was perfect with its terrific roads for opening up the DBS's massive hand-built 6.0 liter V12 featuring 510 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque. Behind the wheel, the vehicle's power is very easy to manage. Its mid-mounted six-speed manual is smooth and transfers engine horses fluidly. And with a 0 to 62 mile per hour time of 4.3 seconds and top speed of 191 mile per hour, the DBS is intoxicating. driving around for a few hours now, a couple hundred miles. A vehicle like an Aston Martin, I can drive 42 days and 42 nights. The exterior is exquisite. The interior, you fall in love with as if it's your wife. My new iTouch iPod is uh, connectivity directly with the vehicle. Uh, Bluetooth technology, I was able to uh, sync up my uh, my trio earlier and talk through the speaker system. This is the quintessential statement when it comes to performance sports cars, luxury sport cars. Coming back at you from the heart of Texas, Rough Creek Lodge and Resort, I'm here with the Vice President of Aston Martin, John Walton, and we're with their latest and greatest. What is the company's forte? What are y'all known best for? I think we're known best for uh, producing high performance luxury sports cars and um, the DBS is certainly a credible uh, addition to what we've been doing in the past. Uh, This particular car is uh, the next generation of the DB9 and part of its development has been the success of what we've enjoyed on the racetrack in the last two years. And talking about some more race technology, you say it's the first application of uh, carbon ceramic brakes? Yes, the first time we've ever had carbon ceramic brakes in the uh, an Aston Martin, again straight off of the track. It's a beautiful silhouette, I love the shape of the coupe, you think we'll see a roaster? Well, you know, in true James Bond fashion, if I <laughs> told you, I'd have to kill you. Come out with it. <laughs> Typically, you know, when uh, we design a car, uh, we design with, with both opportunities uh, available for the future. Certainly with this beautiful coupe, why not? The DBS's vista from either near or far is magnificent. The elongated hood features nostril-like air intakes for capturing fresh breaths of air for the naturally aspirated V12. Cannon-like HID headlamps are slickly integrated as teardrops within the fenders, while the handcrafted grill and air dam seem to smirk indefinitely. Only a few hundred examples of the DBS will be available in the States for $265,000. Coming back at you, to get more specifics or details into the business model of Aston Martin, we're here with Dave Brown, Head of Sales Operations. Um, Tell us a little bit about the mindset of, of that individual who's going to purchase this. 
typically it's somebody who's been very successful in life. Maybe they've set up and run their own company. They're looking to reward themselves for all the effort they've put into that. So they're looking for something with a unique design, exclusivity and fantastic performance. There's three key areas that we focus on with this car. That's been the design, the performance and the control. The first one of those design, well you've seen it today, it's a fantastic looking car, but with a hint of aggression in this design that hints at the power within. Um, of course, all that performance, you need a lot of control to go with it. And there's several firsts for Aston Martin on this car. We've got the adaptive damping system, um, and we've also got the carbon ceramic brakes. So you've seen the, the huge uh, brake discs on, the, on this car. Fantastic stopping power to keep all that performance in check. They say you only live twice, once when you're born, and once again when you drive an Aston Martin. See more of the DBS in action this fall in the 22nd James Bond's movie, Quantum of Solace. For more information, visit AutomotiveRhythms.com, the urban automotive experience. My name's John Walton. This is the Aston Martin DBS, and you're watching ARTV.